There have been challenges before the industry, but I think industry has taken up these challenges very, very uh, uh, proficiently with the open uh, intentions and uh, everything. And uh, in fact, very frankly, the one of the first uh, slides which Mr. Bhatti shared, I still remember when every slide said that we are the 15th largest uh, paper industry when I started today, at least uh, we are fifth now like the fifth largest economy, we are the fifth uh, largest producer of uh, paper also, a long way we have come. Talking about the missions of this paper tech, uh, and especially in context with the smaller mills, uh, I wouldn't call smaller, not smaller would be I think a wrong normal, to, uh, wrong thing to say because they be larger than many so-called large mills, but non-conventional raw dealer to say, either agro-based mills or the recycled based mills. As far as energy consumption is concerned, there were two things. One was the efforts made by the management and uh, the technologies available. Secondly, the compulsion part. Once the energy has become so expensive, so mills and management have no option but to conserve energy, to be more efficient. And uh, I'll be uh, happy to share very frankly the journey of these mills, starting from uh, almost 1500, 1600 kWh per ton of paper to about 700 today, the water consumption from uh, 250 cubic meters per ton to uh, down to about 30, 40 depending on how efficient you are and steam consumption of total steam consumption including chemical recovery everything to 6-7 uh, tons per ton of paper starting from 12 tons. I still remember that one of the seminars in CII, I presented a paper in, uh, in Chennai, it was in 1995 if I remember correctly. And we gave a figure of uh, 9 tons per ton of uh, paper pe and people refuse to believe that 9 tons is not possible. Today mills are 6-7 tons also. So this has been a good journey but only thing is that uh, larger number of mills have to come on board to share these figures. Very frankly, uh, I firmly believe that you will be surprised if we come across the actual consumptions of many so-called mills who are not on board. They, be, they may be much more efficient than many of us uh, in the hall today. So biggest challenge before either the paper tax, CII, IFMA, I, whosoever is to uh, take more bills on the board and uh, kind of so that they also share their experiences, share their figures. So therefore on energy front I am quite sanguine that considering the limitations that the certain mills are small, certain uh, raw mills are different but we should be very near to almost the best in the world because of two reasons that we have made effort. Secondly, now there is no option but to conserve energy. On environmental front also, mills have done very well today. I think uh, many of us uh, in this sector, both in agro and recycled, because I still remember that one of, uh, not once, many a times uh, we were advised to close down agro-based mills because they said that you have no future, you are absolutely polluting industry, but I can vouch for paper to this uh, uh, agro-based industry today that our uh, treatments and our answers are comparable to the best, maybe better than many of so-called uh, the earlier definition of large mills we have done tremendously well. Again, my belief is that mills who are not, there is no lack of technology as far as uh, the environmental standards are concerned. There are technologies available. These technologies are technically sound. These technologies are economically viable. Also, if somebody is not doing it, it is his intention not to do it, number one. Number two, lack of adequate control system. It is a failure of, I must say it openly, it is a failure of the uh, so-called pollution control boards to ensure that uh, standards are met. But if somebody says that no technology is not available or it doesn't make economic sense to uh, be environmentally compliant, I personally don't believe it. I have worked in this industry for 40 years continuously. I have seen uh, uh, how the technologies have come forward, where the growth has been. So, but and by and large, but agro-based mills, 
are very compliant uh, by and large and then even on recycled I am very really sure that most of them uh, must be compliant but if there are any uh, deviation or deviates there I think lots of uh, more effort on the to ensure that it is implemented uh, has to be done but uh, we have come a long way also there is no doubt about it. Again talk about 95 seminar when the first time we presented our uh, chemical recovery uh, project there which was first of its kind in the country maybe uh, involved also on agro based mills. Nevertheless, third uh, I was asked to speak about decarbonizing. Very frankly my experience is very very limited. Two reasons. One is that uh, uh, we in most of the mills are not equipped to measure our uh, carbon footprint. We have uh, uh, no, 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 uh, very frankly, uh, case studies or even I think the CII can help these mills by uh, preparing the performance, the charts, everything for smaller mills, easier to implement where, where they can at least uh, uh, know that what is their carbon footprint. But having said that, one thing is very good about most of the uh, mills in my sector, uh, in agro sector is that we hardly use any fossil fuel. Most of our fuels are biofuels. It is not, uh, uh, let's say, wind energy or solar energy, but biofuel nevertheless, uh, like rice husk and other uh, fuels of uh, coal dependence is uh, very limited. And uh, uh, most of the water, if not, it doesn't go for plantation of trees. It goes for at least annual crops. The, the agricultural crops, so again, uh, part of uh, carbon uh, footprint is uh, taken care of and then even uh, groundwater situation is uh, saved by uh, using this water for irrigation, especially states like Punjab where so much of water is required for paddy growth. Uh, more, almost 100% of water during paddy season uh, of uh, mill effluent is used for uh, paddy plantation. But uh, uh, I'll cut it short there only because I don't have much of experience on what uh, uh, would be the decarbonization ultimately, how do we do a year over carbon footprint and what all is being done, what can further be done. I think uh, uh, we must hold hands with the uh, help of uh, associations with smaller mills. I am very happy to be here, it's like a second home to me, paper tech is like, because being associated is right from beginning and looking forward to be part of it in the future also. Thank you so much.